are watching the largest African-American religious network in the world. We are the Word Network. This is a Word Network special presentation. This is a Word Network special presentation. Thank you for joining us today as we're live in studio with Bishop Fred Davis. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Send now prosperity. It's right there in that verse. This day, God send prosperity, send peace, send joy in the Holy Ghost. I am so excited. I'm Bishop Greg Davis. Welcome to Greg Davis Live every day at 1 p.m. It's Thursday right now. If you're watching it live, that's what it is. I want you to know I'm here and the prayer counselors are here. There's a number on the screen uh, that you can contact and have prayer. I have a prophetic gift here with me that's going to take you to a place that you've never been. The prophet comes to move you. He comes to accelerate you. He comes to push you to places that you didn't. You know what else he does? He comes to confirm. And today this man of God is going to stir up the gift in you. You know the worst thing in the world is to be in the season and not know the season that you're in. The worst thing in the world is to have opportunity available to you and you don't even realize it. I want to make an announcement to you prophetically that you are free to move around in this last quarter of this year and be blessed that you have... You know the kind of blessings eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor has entered the heart of those that love him. God is about to blow your mind today, and I'm getting ready to pronounce it. It's huge. It's big. You're going to be able to flow into places that you never thought you could go. I am in great anticipation. You do know I heard this. I'm not going to take the credit for this because he coined the word, but I believe it. I learned it some 20 years ago almost. Expectations is the breeding ground for your miracle. That's Pastor Rod Parsley. Today, your expectation, this is more than a TV show. This is not even a TV. This is your daily bread live from the Word Network. Right now, we are in 90 million homes. Right now, we are in 200 countries. I got a text a few minutes ago. Pastor Huntsville told me, say he got inboxes from New Zealand and, and uh, India last night when we played his program. This is real. People say, come go to Africa with my friend, Prophet McKinstry. No, I'm in Africa right now. I'm in New Zealand right now. This is the greater works. Thank you for your support. Those of you that have ordered the Healing Bible, and uh, you're going to have an opportunity to do that again today as we play the commercial. But I'm going to my guest because I'm so excited. He is a prophet of the Lord. I'm going to let him loose. I'm going to let him speak the word of the Lord. Those of you that are on Facebook Live, send me your prayer requests. Send me, he has a word for you at the end of the program. He's not just going to go in the prayer room and pray for you. I'm going to let him prophesy to you. I let people do what they call to do. There's a prophet in the land. He's from Atlanta, Georgia, the Embassy Church. My friend and brother, Prophet B. Dwayne Hardin. Welcome, sir. Man, I am so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Man, it's good My to friend. have you. Yeah. Uh, I, I want you... I want you to feel free today. Okay. You're going to be with me today and tomorrow. Today and tomorrow, right. And I want you to say what God is saying. We're in a very peculiar, upside-down kingdom-type situation absolutely, right now. Absolutely, absolutely. You got all this stuff going on politically and mm -hmm. uncertainty. The markets are uncertain because they don't know who's going to be president. But usually when that's happening on the natural side, the upside-down kingdom, that means we're about to be blessed out of our side. That's right. We're going to go to commercial, but I want you to give us a teaser. Take that... Take that camera. Give us a teaser of what you're going to be talking about. Absolutely. Let me, let me tell y'all, first of all, the Lord just told me, he said, tell the people you're going to finish strong yes, in sir. this year. Yes, sir. The Gregorian calendar, we're going to finish strong from 2016 to 2017. Now, I want y'all to understand something. We're in a time of Jubilee, and we're going to get a hangover from Jubilee. <laughs> yes, yeah, a Jubilee hangover. Uh, seven years worth of a hangover. And so, this is a time where supernatural things happen in the midst of Christ. Jesus.
in the midst of craziness, supernatural things began to happen. Debts are canceled. And we're just not talking about your, your credit report from J.C. Penney's. We're talking about debts of forgiveness, things that need to be taken care of that are 50, 30, 40 years old. All the kind of things began to transpire. And this is a time where these things are beginning to happen. I want you all to know, seriously, take this very, very serious. We're going, we're going to go Come to on. commercial in a second. Take this so serious. It is time for you to align yourself with the kingdom of God. I know we're in this political season and there's this uproar, Hillary and Donald Trump and back and forth and uh, we're fighting each other, bullying each other uh, and people mad because their opinions aren't being heard. It doesn't matter. The only opinion you need to be concerned with right now you need to study those things, but you need to be concerned with the thought of God. And this is a time where the thought of God must be heard. And he releases his thought through people uh, that are prophetic. He releases his thought through the word of God. He releases his th thought through people who have an Issachar anointing. That Issachar anointing that's aware of the season and the times and, and knowing they do, what yeah. they should do in those. I heard three words you said, and it's probably the least words that you thought you said. Here's what I heard you say. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Whatever. I'm going to preach that. Uh -huh. No, I'm going to find a text for that. <laughs> I'm going to give you credit the first time. But let me tell you something. Whatever you're going through, because this man of God is here, how do you know a prophet? Because what he says come to pass. I want to tell you as we go to commercial, it doesn't matter. As of this moment right now, you, are, you have been arrested by the Holy Spirit, and he's come to tell you, no matter what your financial situation is, no matter what your sickness is, no matter what, what you're facing in court, your children, here's the word of the Lord, Facebook Live. Here's the word of the Lord, Word Network. It doesn't matter. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Mr. Greg Davis, and I want to introduce to you the very special Healing Bible. That's right. I have designed a Bible along with the Word Network that is called the Healing Bible. Inside this Bible are scriptures that I have specially picked out of the Word of God to speak into your life for your healing. Spiritually, financial healing, mental healing, whatever it is, you need to get this Bible in your hand. Let me tell you something. It's a topical reference Bible that you can study the Word of God, but then there are 27 other books inside the Bible. Right now, I want to send it to you, the Healing Bible, along with the prayer cloth, along with Let the Healing Begin CD Part 2. All these three for $109. So a seat of $109. Chose nine because nine represents healing. And he healed them all. 39 stripes. He was healed with 39 stripes. $109. Order now the Healing Bible Package. Do it right now. $109. I want to invite you to be a part of my healing army. God is raising up. Every one of us here at the Word Network that you see come on live and a part of the Word Network host, Bishop Bloomer, uh, Teresa Cox, and on and on and on. We all have our own anointings. Bishop Bloomer, deliverance, satanic, and, uh, you know, casting out demons. Mine is healing. I believe God is raising up 390 of you that are going to stand with me. Get your healing Bible today. Pastor sat down, prophet sat down, he's like, Man, I want one of them Bibles. And he was serious. He, he collects Bibles. Right. In this day where everybody's using iPads and phones, he said, I collect Bibles. In here are four pages that I've set apart, healing scriptures, a seed gift. You can't buy it. Don't call and say, I want to buy it. A seed gift of $109. I'm going to send you as a bonus prayer cloth to carry it along with you, uh, our healing CD and the Word of God, 27 other books on miracles and Jesus and God. Uh, the ex explaining various things in this Bible, you can call right now, 855-730-WORD. But now, I want to get to the prophet. Prophet, take the camera, talk to the people of God, lead us, tell us what you want us to do. Prophet, be Dwayne Harding. First thing I want to talk about is where the season that we're in. And this, this is the season, Bishop, where we're leaving Rosh Hashanah. The last Rosh Hashanah was 5776. We have just now moved into 5777. And what the Lord began to work with me on last year, he says, I'm going to do double. 
He says, I'm going to take what you have and I'm going to double things. I'm going to double. I started seeing little things like I'd order one thing in the mail, two of them would come in the mail. Wow. I seen people, I got a friend out in California, uh, Bishop uh, Carl, and he was in the midst of leasing two properties, fascinating properties, great work out there, great, great, great work. And the Lord uh, set it up that he had to go into crisis, if you will, which pre presents opportunity. Crises when, presents, presents opportunities. opportunities. On Facebook Live, Jennifer, pray for her or Janet, her family. Listen to what the man of God saying, Jennifer. God is about to do double whatever you're praying for. Go ahead. I'm he sorry. He's going to take that crisis. Crises and brings opportunity. opportunity. Go uh, ahead. So here it is. He's about to uh, purchase these properties. He's forced to have to purchase. The Lord tell him to purchase the one. He's he got two major properties, multi-million dollar properties. And so he goes to purchase the one. The one he's leasing in the city, he is forced to now have to get it done in 90 days because somebody else offered them more money for that property. Wow. So they were going to break the lease and do everything and try to take that property. I mean, sitting on 10 acres of, work, of working land, a building. Check this out. He ends up with that property then he goes and in 90 days raises $2.1 million. And now he has now purchased both properties. Both properties double. I have a lady in my church who uh, she was trying to buy a home. His credit score was horrible. Couldn't get anything done. And uh, this is in the season that we were proclaiming double. Five, seven, seven, six, seven, seven. And so we're there and she's about to get this home. And she can't get it. And then her car breaks down. When her car breaks down, that sets it off in motion. I mean, she's tripping, don't know what's going to happen. And eventually she buys a car before she buys a house. Now, this is weird because you don't buy a car before you buy a house. You buy the house before you buy a car. Mm -hmm. Well, she went out because she had to get to work and some things, so she bought this car. When she bought the car, uh, her credit score shot up. And she went and built her a house from the ground. She got two things that she was needing in one season. House. House and the car. House with land, with wow. property, with a lake behind Double. there. Double. Double. Um, I'm seeing this. I got one lady in the church. Watch this. She was paying 5000 about five grand a month for her home. Fabulous home. And, um, and uh, all of a sudden, the bank reaches out to her. And check this out. They say, we're going to cut your mortgage in half. You, can, you get to keep the other half of the money. You only pay us half of what it was. So she went down to about $2,500 a month paying her house note. She went into a situation where that which was keeping her from advancing double, now she's able to do double things that she wanted to do. This was a season of double. Now, the interesting thing here is we're moving into 577. That's what Rosh Hashanah was in October. And so at the beginning of October, we have moved into this season. And the year that's on the Jewish calendar is 5777. 5777. The Lord told me, he says, We're, I'm releasing a triple grace now. And now I wanted to understand that because when we talk triple, we're really talking about three dimensions. 30, 60, 100. Ask, seek, knock. Uh, now abide is faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. The reason why there's always the greatest of these is because it contains the lesser of these. And whatever is the lesser is contained in the greater. So th 30 is contained in the 100, but uh, 60 is not contained in the 30. So you got to get through these dimensional shifts to get the, to yeah. get to that place. Yeah. And so these are all transitional. Now watch 30, 60, 30 to 60 is 30. Uh, there's the difference between there is 30, but 60 to 100, in it increases to 40. So there's more that has to happen. God is putting an anointing on people for more. You right there. He's putting an anointing on you for more to push you, to catapult you to the next place. You cannot give up now. I prophesy to you, you giving up, you will miss out on the best days of your life. I prophesy to you that you will make it through this tough period. Anyhow, that third dimension, Bishop, is where we are. Five, seven, seven, seven. Three sevens, which are int interesting numbers. The number seven on the Jewish, in the Jewish uh, thought process means that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Wait, Jennifer, uh, Tiffany Johnson needs a job. That's enough. God's going to do that's enough. Tiffany from Facebook Live. Go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you. That's enough. You, you need to look at your what situation. What are you saying? 
Huh? What are you saying? You need to look at your situation and know that this is a seven period. That's enough. Yeah. That's enough. This is, and this is the threefold. This is 30, 60, 90. I mean, 30, 60, 100. That's enough. There's a perfection, sh perfectional shift that the Lord is doing to get us to this one dimension where our movement is going to be great. And this is what the Lord told me. He said, ask the people on yeah, the network. Them. He said, ask the people on the network to sow a $77 offering today. He says, be intentional, write it down, and put 77. Now, he says he's going to be graceful and add the seven, that third seven, to your, to your life. He's just asking for the two sevens. He wants $77 seed today. You need to get and to, to call the Word Network at 855-730-WORD. That simple. Call them right now. If the lines are busy, just keep calling again because this is a period where God is releasing a triple while you give him double. Will you speak to the people as they call today? Hey, I will. And speak into their life. Absolutely. And prophesy to them. I will. 855-730-WORD. 855-730-WORD. We're going to the prayer room and um, I don't bring prophets just in to, to preach. I can bring preachers. I don't bring prophets in just to pray. I tell them, I want them to prophesy to the people. There's so many people that are hurting, that are watching this telecast. The man of God says, you give that 77, he'll be the third person. He'll be the third dimension in your life, that other seven. We are in the season of seven years of release. Seven years of release. That means everything that has been tied up God is about to, your family, people are sending in Facebook live uh, prayer requests for family and jobs. You got to believe. See, part of the issue is, and I believe, is that when people come in and sit, you don't believe. Right. You, I'm getting ready to start giving out the email address to the Word Network. I believe it's Word Network Live at the Word Network org. I want them to find out for me. But I want, I want to give that out because... I believe now, after a month's time, there are testimonies from various ones that have been spoken here. This man of God coming to prophesy to you, release that seed of $77 so that you can get that third dimension. There, there, the pressure that you've been feeling, watch this, is because you're just about there. That's right. You're just about there. I, 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 I remember, I remember in, in, in the book of Genesis 25 and 9, Genesis 25 and 9, Jacob uh, was on his way from Bethel to Bethlehem, house of God, to Bethlehem, house of bread. And Rachel began to travail and had hard labor right in the middle on the way there. Yeah. Because just before you get to the blessing comes the hardest time of your life. But that was the greatest release. Come on, come on. But that was the Take greatest it. release. I'm just, yeah, I'm sorry. Benjamin was released in that moment. Yes, sir. You know, now there's, uh, she wanted to call him Benaniah, ben son of my sorrow. He and then, said, no. And Jacob jumps in and says, no, we no, rename him. we ain't having him. a pity party. Your we pity party is over. Go right. We, you got to rename your destiny. Say it again, you man. You got to rename your I'm destiny. Out. Go ahead. Yeah, people, people putting bad names on their destiny. They're putting pain on their destiny. They're putting defeat on their destiny. But you got to rename it. And whenever God comes to fix something, he renames it. Rename your destiny. Yeah. You've called it fear. You've called it hurt. You've called it pain. Now God says, take today, right this moment, and rename your destiny. I don't know about you, my name is Victory. My name is Victory. Yeah. My name is King. My name is Priest. Yeah. My name is Prophet. Yeah. My name is everything the scripture said. I'm, I'm healthy. I'm healed. Yeah. I'm successful. Yeah. I am not defeated. Yeah. No matter what's going on around me, my crisis is my opportunity. I'm going to take advantage of it and find the solution. My crisis is my opportunity. And I'm going to find the solution because once you find the solutions to a problem, yeah. you get paid for the solution. I keep, I, it, it's so funny you said that. You got to increase your value. You got you to gotta find out what you've been brought here to solve. 855-730-WORD. The man of God has said $77 seed today. That is, that, that's, that's the number that your faith is going to work with. The significance of seven. That's enough. Things that you detach from today with that seed, you're going to detach from things that were bringing you down with that seed today. 
that seed is going to begin to sprout up something fresh in your life. There's a scripture in Amos that we, that we know so well, but it talks about by the time the seed, before it even touched the ground, yeah. it will have already begun to sprout up. And in the Message Bible, it says it much more clear and much more beautiful. But I'm trying to tell people today, you got to respond quickly because that thing, there is a germination process between the earth, the release and the earth. And then God is saying, you release it before it even get into the ground good. I'm going to have roots pulling up out of it and I'm going to stabilize your stuff. But if you don't move quickly, Satan comes to snatch it. And what happens is, as soon as you speak it, Satan puts doubt oh, in their mind. Tremendous doubt. Puts doubt. Not, not, he ain't getting none of this money. I ain't getting none of this. This is to help preach. I want to say this over and over again. I'm not here trying to raise money for me. I, I'm not trying to raise my a seed always meets a need. Yeah. And as you plant this seed, I want you to say to, to us as we answer the phone, as the men and women of God answer the phone, I want you to say out loud with the seed, that's enough. Gotta I, say it. Huh? They gotta, gotta say, say it. it. Gotta come out of your mouth. You know what else you as you saying that's enough, you're saying it twofold. That's enough of what I've been going through. Mm -hmm. And you know what? God is about to give me that's enough. He about to give me whatever I need. You know what? I want you to call 855-730-WORD. Facebook Live. I want you all to call to 855-730-WORD. Take the camera and teach us, man. You got time. Man, I hear the, can I give a word though? Prophesy. I hear the Lord saying that there's a man of God that is extremely weary. Uh, you're about to give up. You really just want to leave the church. In fact, you have put a resume together. And you just, you're tired of the way things are going. You're feeling a lot of pressure in the, these past, in fact, the past 24 hours. The Lord just told me to tell you, yes, Lord. The Lord just told Come me on. to tell you that things are turning around and you get this seed money and sow it right away. Get it in the ground. In fact, there's four of preachers in the same situation. You need to grab that seed and put it in the earth right now. You need to put it in the earth called the Word Network, which is exploding throughout the world, throughout the globe. Which is bigger than what you're doing in your local church. Much bigger. Always find something bigger than you, men and women of God. I have something that's called Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. That's what I'm connected to, the Word Network. I'm not able to do this alone. I'm not able to, to, to preach across the world alone, but you know what? I connected with the Word Network. I connected with an organization. So you have nowhere to put seed. The same thing that you ask your people to tithe and give is the same thing that's good for us to do. That's right. It's, it's right to do. And we're under a Melchizedek priesthood. We're yeah. not up under the Levitical order anymore. We're under the Melchizedek priesthood, which means you don't do it because you are forced to do it. You do it because you are willing. He loves a cheerful giver. Now watch this. The principle behind cheerful giving is his response to you. He loves a cheerful giver because he loves cheerfully giving. He loves cheerfully. He cheerfully enjoys blessing his people. He loves blessing. He blesses us. Yes. In fact, one takes of the things, yeah. yeah, he takes pleasure yeah. in the prosperity yeah. of his service. Yeah. This is fascinating to me. He takes pleasure in the, pro he wants you to, when you prosper, man, God is smiling. That's what the word of God, either we believe the word of God or not. God is a prosperous God. Yeah. He's not a God that's somewhere begging and hoping that some things happen. He loves to see us because when he sees us, he sees himself. He sees him and he won't deny himself. He loves to see us prospering. In fact, uh, part of this thing, and you need to, man of God, young men of God, you need to hear this. Uh, there's also a woman of God. You need to sow $1,000, the Lord says. There are actually five people that the Lord came to me today and he said, challenge five people to sow $1,000 seed. It's not even a $1,000 that you just have that you can just go get it. You just, you have to sow it. This is something that is going to be a release from your pocket. Uh, you have have the money, but it's nothing like you just overflowing in money. But you got to get this because the Lord is opening up some opportunities for you that are going to blow your mind. That the message that the Lord gave me recently is kingdom prosperity, and pros uh, the kingdom only advances it when people prosper. If a kingdom don't advance unless there's prosperity, 
And so God is saying, there are many ministries that are preparing to advance, but there's no prosperity in the midst. He's saying, so today, and let's prosper you. Let us push you. Let me push you into your next dimension. Let me push you into this next place. That, that number again is $77. And then there are five people who are supposed to sow $1,000. There's a woman uh, and I was talking to the Lord about this last night, Bishop. There's not just a woman, but there are at least 10 people. And I wrote it down just as clear that there are 10 people that are going to receive a triple promotion. They're going to go up the ladder They're going to go beyond the next. They're going to go yeah. beyond the next. Yeah. And, and you've been in, in hiding like uh, those, like the arrow that's in hiding in Isaiah 49. But God says, I'm about to take you and uh, shoot you, you. Yeah. yes, farther than you can go. And so that's the threefold. In fact, if y'all were here, you would see that my camera is camera number three. <laughs> I really want you to see this here, that the Lord has set you up today in this live show. This isn't tape. This is something. We're in, live. We're live. And, yeah. and I'm not one of those people who manipulate anybody. No, for, I want to say this too. The guests come, they pay their own way here. We don't pay nothing. I don't get paid for this. I don't get a cut of this. This goes to the Word Network. So those of you that are sitting there saying, the preacher's up there asking for money for themselves. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Not at all. I'm not nothing. Get nothing. This is so the gospel can be preached. I sit here every day so that you can be blessed. You can be blessed. That's the reason why. I care about the people so you can be blessed. Yes, the bills got to be paid, cameras, satellites, staff. It costs. The gospel is free, but getting it out costs a little money to get it out. It's you another, enjoy this every day. It's, another, about two minutes. it's another thing that they don't really realize about you. You could be out on the road making way more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah, you, you're yeah, here yeah, every we, day. And yeah, so, I turn, yeah, yeah, I can't this, go on the road. This is the love. I, I was, you were supposed to be in Atlanta last week. Yeah. You were here yeah. uh, making sure that this is done. Everybody, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I just support you at this moment. And I declare that even at this point, you have got to make a move. This is a point that God, God is moving in your favor. And I tell you, by the word of the Lord, do not, do not shrink back. Don't miss this moment. Don't miss this opportunity. Call 855-730-WORD. 855-730-WORD. You're going to go to the prayer room as we yes. do every day, but will you pray and prophesy to the people? I absolutely will. We're going to stay here until the phone stop ringing. Soon, in, in, the next, in the next five minutes, we take these mics off. We go into the prayer room with the precious people of God. I want you to get ready. As Bishop Jake said, get ready, get ready. Call though, if the line is busy, we will call you back, leave your number, or keep calling. It's worth the call. Just keep pushing, go to the bathroom at work and call. You want a word from God? He's here to prophesy to you. That's his flow. Call right now. Get ready to call, 855. Say, I want to talk to the prophet. I need a word from the Lord. It's not a psychic line. <laughs> no. It's not a psychic line, all right? This, this ain't Dion and all them. This ain't a psychic. This is a man of God with a word from God. He's coming to confirm what God is saying to you. Get a seed in the, in the ground of $77. A seed always meets a need. Bishop, it's important for them to realize. Seconds. Yes, sir. It's important for them to realize their 77 is it's not exclusive of God. He is included in that. He is the other seven. He is the triple we're force. In, we're in Russia. We're yeah, in that yeah, period. Yeah. All right. Prophet B. Dwayne Harney he's going to be back with me tomorrow. He's going to be here two days. Flood the lines. There's 100 of you that will sow that 77. He's going to stay as long as it takes to speak into your life. 855-730-WORD. Uh, seat of 109 for the Healing Bible. But those of you that will sow that $77, do it right now. There's Four of you, you said, with $1,000. Five, five. Five of you with $1,000. We'll be back tomorrow. Be Dwayne Harding. Be Dwayne Harding. Be Dwayne Harding. Make sure you go and follow him. What y'all telling me? Keep going. 855-730-WORD. 855-730-WORD. Call right now. 855-730-WORD. Call right now. So that $77 right now into the ground. He's going to prophesy to you. It's live TV, y'all. He's going to prophesy to you. 855-730-WORD.
has been a Word Network special presentation brought to you by the friends and partners of the Word Network all over the world. Hi, I'm Mr. Greg Davis, and I want to introduce to you the very special Healing Bible. That's right. I have designed a Bible along with the Word Network that is called the Healing Bible. Inside this Bible are scriptures that I have specially picked out of the Word of God to speak into your life for your healing, spiritually, financial healing, mental healing, whatever it is, you need to get this Bible in your hand. Let me tell you something. It's a topical reference Bible that you can study the Word of God, but then there are 27 other books inside the Bible. Right now, I want to send it to you, the Healing Bible, along with the prayer cloth, along with Let the Healing Begin CD Part 2. All these three for $109. So a seat of $109. Chose nine because nine represents healing, and he healed them all. 39 stripes. He was healed with 39 stripes. $109. Order now the Healing Bible Package. Do it right now. $109. I know that there's some people right now that you know that God is real. You know He exists. You know that there's more than what you're experiencing. Only on the Word Network. You're watching the largest African-American religious network in the world. We are the Word Network. Beloved, this is my final episode on the Fall Holy Days. We're continuing today with the Feast of Tabernacles, part two. You're going to learn today that even as the Israelites were changed in the wilderness, you're being changed for the trials that you go through in your life. Rabbi Schneider is a voice crying out in our lost world pointing mankind to Jesus today. Shalom, we've just entered into a special season of the year where we celebrate the Feast of the Lord. Today, as we enter into the Feast of Tabernacles, let us remember, God is all we need. God bless you and shalom, beloved one. My name is Rabbi Schneider. Welcome today to this edition of Discovery.